hi what is the value of a given that you have a roots multiplied by root a into root a equals two then let's have it to the solution then let's say method one from here let's take the square of both sides to be a multiplied by root of a into root of a and parentheses to the power of two then equals two to the power of two so from here recall that when we have a b in parentheses to the power of two equals a to the power of two multiplied by b to the power of two so from here here will be a square multiplied by root of a into root a to the power of two equals two to the power of two we have a square this we cancel this multiply by a multiply by root a equals 2 to the power of 2 this one has power 1 we call that when we have a to the power of n multiply by a to the power of n equals a to the power of m plus n so this will be equals a to the power of 2 plus 1 multiply by root a equals 2 to the power of 2. a to the power of 3, 2 plus 1 will give us 3 multiplied by root a equals 2 to the power of 2. Then to eliminate this again, let's take the square of both sides. So here will be a to the power of 3 and parentheses to the power of 2 multiply by root a to the power of 2 equals 2 to the power of 2 times 2. a to the power of 3 times 2 will give us 6 multiply by this we cancel out this so here will also be a left equals 2 to the power of 4. So this one also has power 1 we have it to be a to the power of 6 plus 1 equals 2 to the power of 4. We have a to the power of 7 equals 2 to the power of 4. Then when we take the reciprocal of both sides by 1 divided by 7. So this, we cancel this. We have a to be equals 2 to the power of 4 times 1 is 4 divided by 7. This is the value of a. So 2 from here. So from here, we have to note that when we have root equals, or when we have root a equals a to the power of one divided by two, then we have to note that for this particular a has how many roots? One. For this particular a has how many roots? Two roots. One, two. So from here, we are going to have a multiplied by this a multiplied by this one to the power of one divided by two multiplied by another a, this a to the power of 1 divided by 2, again, to the power of 1 divided by 2, which equals 2. So from here we have a multiplied by a to the power of 1 divided by 2, multiplied by a. This will be 1 times 1 will give us 1, divided by 2 times 2 will give us 4, which equals 2. Now, from here, we have this one to be 1. Recall that when we have a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n multiplied by a to the power of c equals a to the power of m plus n plus c. So far, they have the same base. We take one base, we have the power together. Applying it here, we are going to have a to the power of 1 plus 1 divided by 2 plus 1 divided by 4 equals 2. We have a to the power of, from here this one has divided by 1, the, the SM is 4, 1 here is 1, 1 in 4 is 4 times this, here will be 4, plus 2 here is 1, 2 here is 2, multiplied by 1 is 2, 4 here is 1, 4 here is 1, times 1 is 1, then equals 2. So from here we have a to the power of 6 plus 1 divided by 4, equals 2. Then from here we have a to the power of 6 plus 1 will give us 7 divided by 4, which equals 2. Now we want to eliminate this numerator 
which is 4. Let's take this, the power of both sides by 4. We have a to the power of 7 divided by 4. We put it in bracket. Raised to the power of 4 equals 2 to the power of 4. Obviously, that this, we cancel this. So we are going to have a to the power of 7, which equals 2 to the power of 4. So from here, we want to eliminate this 7 again. We have to take the reciprocal, the reciprocal of both sides, the power of both sides by 1 divided by 7. So we are going to have a to the power of 7 in parentheses to the power of 1 divided by 7. Just to eliminate this equals 2 to the power of 4 in parentheses to the power of 1 divided by 7. So from here we have a, this 7 we cancel this, equals 2 to the power of 4 times 1 is 4 divided by 7. So from here we also have the value of a to be equals this. Then to now verify, we have a multiplied by root of a into root of a, which equals 2. When this equals this one, what are we going to have from here? So we are going to have a, that is 2 to the power of 4 divided by 7 multiplied by 2 to the power of 4 divided by 7 in parentheses for this one to the power of 1 divided by 2 then 2 to the power of 4 divided by 7 in parentheses to the power of for this will be 1 divided by 4 then is it going to give us 2 how do we get 1 divided by 4 for this one because of half half so from here we have this 2 to the power of 4 divided by 7 this 2 here is 1 2 here is 2 so multiply by 2 to the power of 2 divided by 7. This 4, we cancel out this. So this will be 2 to the power of 1 divided by 7. Then it's going to give us 2. So from here, the SM is the same. So we can easily have it here to be 2 to the power of 4 divided by 7 plus 2, to the, plus 2 divided by 7 plus 1 divided by 7 from here. So far, they have the same base. We had the power. So then is it going to give us 2? Then from here, we have this to be 2 to the power of the SM is 7. We have 4 plus 1, then plus 2. Then is it going to give us 2? So from here, we have 2 to the power of 4 plus 1 is 5 plus 2 is 7. We have 7 divided by this, 7. Then it's going to give us 2. 7, we cancel out 7, will be 1. 2 to the power of 1 is 2, equals this 2. So you can see that 2 to the power of 4 divided by 7 satisfies the problem. If you are new here and find this video interesting, don't forget to share, like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more math tutorial videos. Bye-bye.